Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Reagan. I do all things clean beauty on this channel so if you're into that click the subscribe button down below and I kind of do an all shades of clean green situation so that's just my little stick. And today we're going to be talking all about Evan Healy. So this is their newer makeup line. I'm really excited about it. I have some of their color bombs. I'm wearing all this stuff on my face. I have their brow pomade. I have their foundation. I'm also going to be doing a little comparison with the Gressa foundation because they have kind of a similar texture to them. So yeah, let's just roll in and start. All right, guys, so first we're going to start out by comparing the Gressa. This is their Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation to the Evan Healy. This is their Tinted Oil Serum Foundation. So they both have kind of similar texture, so I'm just shaking them both up. And when I was using this this week, I also have been kind of messing with this one as well. I just kind of found some similarities. So I did go to Google just to see if they did have some similar ingredients. So... Uh, the base of the Evan Healy, because they're both kind of like a more oil serum base, is jojoba and broccoli seed and rose, uh, hip seed oil, excuse me, and then also argon kernel oil, vitamin E, and then it has, um, titanium dioxide and iron oxides. There are 17 shades of this guy. And then the Gressa, this is their minimalist. So there are 21 shades of this and they have a little bit of a more complex formulation. So their base is broccoli seed oil and coconut alkanes has some silica dioxide in it. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to try this on both sides of my face and I'll kind of talk about some of the like inconsistencies between the two like where they're a little bit different and then also where they're similar so just shaking them up again okay so i'm going to apply the gressa to this side of my face so gressa does have this dropper and i have shade two in the gressa i think it's the one that just best suits me and my undertone so i just did two little drops and yeah i'm just rubbing this into my skin, my hairline. Okay, so that is all blended into my skin. And then I'm just shaking up the Evan Healing one again. So this doesn't have the little dropper. So you just kind of pour this out and like shake it a little bit. And I got two drops of this. So I actually think that the Evan Healy one is a little bit better for my skin tone. Let's blend it out and see. I'm just using my hand again on this side. Okay, just side by side comparing them. So the Gressa is a little bit deeper and I did try some shades down and I felt like they were too light for me. So yeah, um... It's okay, like I can get away with it, but I feel like the Evan Healy one's a little bit lighter and maybe like better for my skin tone. But that being said, I do feel like the Gressa has like a tad smidge more coverage to it. So just kind of interesting and maybe that's because it's a little bit deeper on me so it covers more. So, you know, you kind of got to take the good with the bad. Overall, the scent of them, this one smells very fresh. The Evan Healy one to me smells also very fresh. It kind of smells like grass, but not in a bad way. Just it smells like really fresh. And that's the first thing I thought of when I smelled it. So overall, I do like them both. The Gressa one is definitely a luxury price point. So this is like $62, I believe. And the Evan Healy one is around $30. They both have decent shade ranges. This one has over 20. This one has like a little bit below. This one launched also with like 17 shades, which is pretty decent. So yeah, overall, I do like them both. I think kind of some of the differences the ingredients are a little bit different on both of them, but they both do have that broccoli seed oil in it, which I do think really does well with my skin. And I do think the Gressa one is a little bit darker, but I think it also has a little bit more coverage to it as well. I think the Evan Healy one's a little bit lighter in coverage. It's more like a medium 
uh, where the Grasso is more of a full. So I just wanted to talk about these because they just seem so similar to me since I've been using them both this week and this is the first time I actually put them side by side. They're a little bit different, but similar in that like oily serum E feel of a foundation. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my brows. So normally I do my brows after I do my face, but I just wanna kind of do them now. So this is the Evan Healy. This is their blonde brow pomade. So this isn't the best match for me. Like I just have better ones. This one's more of a butterscotch shade. So it tends to be a little bit too orange. It's not awful, but it's just not a fave. It's more like of a mid product for me where the foundation, I'd say I'd say it's like a mid to fave product where I really do like it. Um, I wish it had a tinge more coverage, but it's not awful by any means. I'm just filling in my brows. This is also their brow spoolie. And I think they have a couple other shades of this as well. Like they have a brown shade and a deeper black shade. I'm just pushing the product up into my brows. And now I'm just using the spoolie to back comb and blend this out. All right, so the pomade, nice formulation. I just think the shade of it, like it's creamy, it's blendable, it's all of that, but the shade of it for me just isn't quite right. It's a little bit too orange. So yeah, that's where it's just like a mid. Formulation's good, shade for me. Mm. All right, and then next product. So I really was impressed with their color bomb. So I have shade Venus, and then I also ha have shade Bittner. So Bittner is like a deep wine shade, and I'll use it today. I'll use it because I've used Venus quite a bit and worn looks with it on my channel. So I'll use Bittner today. These smell very nice and fresh. This actually has a little bit of citrus to it. So I'm pretty light with it because these are actually pretty glossy and pigmented and I'm just using my fingers to blend this out. I was pretty impressed with Venus on the lid, so I'll use this one on the lids too. It just was a nice like glossy sheen, which I wasn't expecting. A lot of times like multi-use products like this are a no-go, but I actually really liked it on everything, like on my lids, on my cheeks, and on my lips. So I'm just using my fourth finger, my ring finger, to blend this out. And I did get a brush just to blend edges. And then I am using this on my lips as well. But it's for here, so I'll do it. And it's a nice tinted balm. Like, it feels nice. It's not really dry. It's, like, glossy and everything. It's a nice tint to it. I love a good multi-use. And then Venus is more of, like, a brick red orange type shade. It's just a little bit more subtle, but I can dig Vintner as well. So yeah, I did like them both. I think they're both pretty shades and these have been favorites. They're just really nice and they do a lot more than I expected them to. I was just expecting like a nice cheek product, but it really does create a nice just like one color eye look and lip and like good to go situation. Okay, and I know myself, so I did not open this. I don't really wanna to touch it because I would rather gift it to the women's shelter or put it in a giveaway or something. This is the shade Eelseum. I probably said that wrong, but it is a gold highlight shade. I just don't typically love gold highlights and this looks like a true gold highlight. It doesn't look like it's going to be a like champagne-y type shade. It just looks like a true gold. So I'm not gonna put my fingers in that, but I do have that one. What I have been liking is Luna. This one is a fave as well. Just the formulations of these like color bomb multi-pot things, really nice. It's really emollient and soft and works really well with body heat. So I'm just putting this highlight along my nose, under my nose where my cubist bow is, under my lip, and then I'm just taking it also above my cheekbones as well. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on. I have the Inica one and we will do a little bit of a wrap up. 
Alrighty guys, so this is my final look. So just a quick little wrap up. I do think these are a little bit different, but they're similar enough kind of situation. So if you're not wanting to spend the $62, you're going to get a little bit less coverage with the Evan Healy, but it's still a nice finish and it has a similar texture to it. And then the color bombs, I really have liked these. These have been faves. This highlight in Luna has been a fave of mine as well. I love the formulations of these. Really soft, really blends into the skin nicely. Very pigmented, easy to use. So good job with these. And then the brow product for me just isn't a fave. It's not horrible by any means. I just, I like something a little bit more taupey blonde instead of what this is, which is like a orange butterscotch. So let me know your thoughts down below of the Evan Healy line. This is newer stuff and yeah, it was fun to try it out and see what it was all like. I was pretty impressed because a lot of times whenever skincare brands try and do makeup, they can be kind of underwhelming. And this actually, I was very pleasantly surprised. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.